in Articulate Storyline, and this can be Articulate Storyline 3 or 360, do you want to know a way of creating a play and pause button for a video that's bespoke? So it's one that's not just in the little kind of browser thing or a long timeline. Well, if you do, then watch this video. I'm going to show you how to create a bespoke play and pause button. And I must say, I think it looks really good. Whilst I've got your attention now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. It makes all the difference. Thank you very much. Now, on with the video of creating play and pause buttons in Articulate Storyline. Let's show you how to create bespoke play and pause buttons on a video. So I've already created it. I've got a slide where it's all going to work. I'm going to show you that slide and then I'll show you how I created that slide. So this here is a video. You can see there's a play button on here as well. And um, if we go to the timeline, there's also a, uh, there's a couple of buttons. There's a pause button, there's a play button. We'll talk about it in detail very shortly. Let's preview the slide and I'll show you what happens. So, slide starts, nothing's happening at all. This is a video. If I press the play button, you can see that the video has started. You can also see that the pause button came along. So, play it, pause it, play it, pause it. So you can see the play and pause button are changing. You can see that the video is playing depending on what's going on. So let's show you how I did that. So I'm going to go to this one here. This is a uh, blank slide. Call it in the background just to make it distinctive. Let's insert a video. So I'm going to insert a different video just to uh, add a bit of variety in my life. So I'll go to video, video from file. I'll pick this video of a jellyfish. So that is going to be a video. Make it a bit smaller. There you go, just have it all so it fits on the screen. And I'm showing you that. So I've gone to insert and video video from far, but I could have inserted a video if you're using Storyline 360, I could insert a video from here. Okay, so any video that I wanted. For instance, one of those. But I'll use this one here. Next thing I want to insert is a play button and a pause button. So let's go and insert a play button. Now, in this situation, I will actually take one from the library. But you could, and if you have a play button just sat on your computer, you could insert a play button from your computer. So insert that one there, make it smaller, put that over there. I'm going to insert now a pause button. So again, I'll do it as an illustration. There's a pause button, insert that. Same thing, there you go, make them the same size, and here we have it. Now, I'm going to keep them separate, just because life's easier if I keep them separate. And then once I've shown you it working, I'll show you how you can overlap them. First thing to do, we've got the jellyfish. The first thing to do with the jellyfish is to create a trigger, because automatically it will play as we start, and I don't want that. I'm going to have it, so we create a new trigger, and the trigger is to, in this case, pause the media on video one, which is that video, when the timeline starts on, and I'll say timeline starts on this slide. Press OK. So that means as soon as we start this, I'm going to preview the slide to show it to you. We start this and the timeline, well, you can see the video is not playing, there's nothing happening with the video, which is exactly what we wanted. Next thing to do, this pause button, we want the pause button to actually be hidden because we only want the pause button to become visible when the play button is being pressed and then you want the pause button to be available so someone can then pause it. So the pause button is now hidden. You do that by clicking on it, going to states and then change it to hidden. Let's go back to the timeline. Something else, just to make our life easier, I'm going to rename these. So picture two, pause, picture one, I'm going to rename it play. Click on the play button and go to triggers. And what we want to now do is create a trigger that's 
plays the media and the media is video one because that's the only media available when the user clicks on the play button press OK I'll create another bit of media or sorry I'll create another trigger on the pause button I've clicked on it trigger and I want to pause the media on video one when the user clicks on pause OK Let's preview that. Now we can see it's going to work, that it's going to play, but the pause button's hidden. So press play, it's perfect, but I can't do anything with the pause button at the moment. So what I need to do is add another trigger. So with the play button, so when the user clicks on the play button, video one will play. Okay, but I want to create another trigger create a trigger and the trigger is change the state of the play button to hidden when the user clicks on play and then create another trigger change the state of the pause button to normal when the user clicks on play so the user is going to click that that's going to disappear and then the pause button is going to become normal and visible and with the pause button, I want to do the same thing. So we know that the pause button is going to pause the video. I want to create a trigger as well though. So I want to change the state of the play button to normal when the user clicks pause, because they've paused it, so you want to give the user the opportunity to press play to start it again. And we want to change the state of the pause button itself back to being hidden when the user clicks on the pause button and as is often the case it's often easier to show you what's happening so I'm going to preview this slide I'm just going to mute the volume press play the video started and the pause button is available the play button disappeared pause it the video stopped the play button is available. Play, pause, play, pause, play, pause. I'm enjoying this far too much. As you can see though, it is working. I'm going to close this preview. Now the very last step is to have them in the same place. So you can see that they're overlapping each other. Let's make it even better. There you go. The play button's on top. Preview this slide. user comes onto this side, press play, press pause, press play, pause, and there you have it. You've now got a video that will play and pause with your own defined icons as and when you want. So it's the same principle on both of these, whether it's this one here with the subscribe video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, or whether it's this one here with the jellyfish video, it works in exactly the same principle. So I'll show the entire project. There you go. Playing this one here, it's telling you to subscribe. That's a big hint, subscribe to the channel. Go to the next page. And this one here, you can see that the jellyfish is there floating away. And I can pause it. Hope you enjoyed the video. As I say, don't forget to subscribe like the channel, like the video, thank you very much, and enjoy playing and pausing your videos with your bespoke buttons.